my DIY nomads. I can't believe it. It's been bloody ages since I released a video. Um, to be honest, the only excuse is that um, I don't have really anything to do right now in regards to making content. Um, I, I don't see the point in starting the fire engine because I don't have a place to do it at. And I don't see the point in restarting my camper van because it's literally been raining every bloody day. And it's been awful. But today out of the blue we've actually got some blue we've actually got some blue sky it's a goddamn miracle so i thought i'd take this time to apologize drastically to you guys i know that i've got a big following now and this is i can't just keep like having big gaps but the reason is i need to get this unit sorted and i finally completed wait is it completed there's like two stages so there's like i think it's completed no exchange and then complete no you complete and then you exchange so i just need to get the keys I just need to get the keys. The latest it will ever possibly be, possibly be we do December will be December the fourteenth. I can't speak today because I'm so excited. Um, it will be December the fourteenth, and I will have the keys for the unit. And then as soon as I can do that, I'll be in there. I'll be converting it to a workshop. But in the meantime, I'm going to be doing videos of me converting it to workshop while also just using it as a space to convert um, the camper van and also the fire engine. So I'm gonna try and get like a bunch of videos coming out almost immediately. Um, once I finally got the unit, I'm not gonna organize transport of the fire engine to the unit until I definitely have keys in hand because they say, they say I, I know they say it's guaranteed by blah, 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 date, but I still, I'm one of those people, I don't believe it until I physically have it. So until I have the keys in my hand, I don't believe it. So I'm gonna to organize to get the, um, fire engine in there hopefully before Christmas I say hopefully before Christmas so that is my super long intro of dates times apologies and everything else Boah. I just want to say today that because the weather's nice I still got stuff to do today but I thought I'd uh, do a little one hour project and today's video is a little thanks to uh, an Instagram guy I called called Vinny Vega there's his name Vinny Vega 73 um, and I saw this the other day on his Instagram. He's uh, basically made a cup holder in his T5. He's, he's got a very cool Instagram page. He's converting his T5, so check him out, give him a bit of love. Um, but yeah, this is a little cup holder that he put in his side door. He apparently got the idea of Facebook. Um, I haven't, like, I, 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 it was just something cool that I haven't seen before, personally. Um, call me archaic, I don't know if lots of people have seen this already. But basically, one thing I've noticed in my Pedro Boxer is there, there isn't a lot, there isn't a lot of drinks holders. That's the one thing I really liked on my Transit Custom, was that there was quite a few drinks holders. This one, there's only one, like, dedicated drinks holder. There are things down in the side that indicate where you could put, like, a water bottle. But if you have a takeaway coffee, uh, and you have like so if, if, if there's two of you in the van and you both have takeaway coffees mine definitely has to go in the cup holder and the passenger has to hold theirs because they can't put it anywhere else if they put it down the side and I break the coffee goes flying coffee everywhere great um, so I want to add one of these at least one of these to the van so today we're gonna be doing a cheeky one hour project so it's currently 9.19. 9 literally just changed to 9.20 as we said that. Um, so hopefully within an hour I'm going to get a bit of cardboard, a bit of marker and we're going to head out there and we're going to measure up. So here we are in the van and yeah as I said there's this side space you can put stuff in but like water bottle won't stay upright down there. Oh god. Water bottle won't stay upright down there and if that was a coffee it's also very very deep as well actually so I, I need to make something that will sit a bit higher for my little keep cup. But as I said, the only cup holder is this area here. And it's a bit of annoying. Like, I don't think they've thought it out very well. Because if you put something here, that cap's over there. Which means you can't put a cup down there. So you have to put it up like that. And if it's one of those, like, wider cups, it pushes against that quite a lot. Um, so that's my only cup holder. And it's very far. It's very much on the left-hand side. So I'm going to leave that for, like, the passenger. So I'm going to add the cup holder for me down here. So that I have something just down here that I can reach. Because... Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like that's quite nice. The passenger has something, then the driver has something. And anything I build for in the cabin up front, I want to prioritise for the driver because the most likely situation is that it'll be me driving, um, uh, me going on like a trip or a drive or a journey or whatever it is. So I want to make it for me. So I'm going to take my bit of card, line it up, 
mark it out. Ooh, do you know what? On this bit of card, I might even be able to get like two cup holders. That'd be pretty good. Um, mark out the general area, and then I can take it back around to the house and mark out my cup spaces within that area. Here we go. Here's my cruddy little template. What I've managed to do is I've cut it so that on there's on the if I'm to draw so a cut through section of the that section down in the door, the plastic comes up and then lips over at the top like that. And I didn't want the wood to sort of just come to the top and be in line with the top like that. What I wanted to do was put it down here. A lot, not very much. It's only probably like a centimetre down. Put the, with the wood level down here. And that means that I can have a drinks holder here. And I'm going to put like a ridge of wood. A very small, just a shallow, maybe a, a round dowel cut in half across here. And then it's going to have an edge over here so that the sides of the plastic and it creates a little basically a little dish that i can put just drop my quickly drop my wallet into or some change um anything that i might possibly need i've got these really nice off cuts of like 18 mil ply from um from a little project that was done in a cafe locally so uh pick these up all for free nice so i'm gonna crack on and get these cut out of this which should look really really good So here's our piece so far, I sand it up. I cut this extra little piece because I wanted to make a chunky, a really big chunky uh, barrier. Because if anything larger than change, I think would, if it was a very just small little hump, would just still roll over it. So I've made a nice chunky thing to even take like my wallet sliding around quite violently. Um, and I'm just gonna wood glue it down and use my nail gun my cheap and cheerful, I think it was like 25 quid nail gun, which is, it's actually really good. Um, just to put that in place. Then I just need to cut one piece for the underneath here that I can mount. So basically I'm going to screw in from one side through the plastic. I know some of you guys might think that's a bit weird. But my thought process is, screw in from that side into a piece underneath and have it glued on this side. Um, I don't want to make a piece of wood that goes all the way down through the pocket because it just basically blocks off all the, the area underneath that still could be used for other things. Like the coffee cup's only going to go underneath this by three inches, two or three inches. So there's no point wasting all that space for nothing. So annoyingly, I pushed down a bit too hard on this one, which is why it's sort of indented in. This one's fine, I just need to like hammer it down a tiny bit with a uh, centre punch. But it's fine, I can live with that, it's not a biggie. I just need to sand off this top edge, uh, nail this down, sand off this top edge and clean up the glue. There we go guys, 10.21, an hour later and this is what I've got. I've got the drinks holder with my little... Ah, oh, do you know what I haven't done? I haven't added the other side of this. Ah, oh, so I'm going to run behind time. All I need to do is add a secondary edge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this first, see how it looks, and basically all I need to really do is linseed oil this up once the glue is dry, um, and look at what edge I want to add here. Because I'm just thinking if I add another one of these here, it will match, but it takes up a lot of space and it looks very, very chunky. So I'm going to think about that for a second. It's only about half past, so it didn't take me much over an hour. Um, I'm going to just be cheeky and put down the extra 10 minutes down to camera angles and getting everything filmed. But there you go. Easy to go cup holder that's floating so that stuff can go underneath. Like, see, all of that space potentially would have been wasted. My water bottle can lean up against it there. And I can put my wallet or my change into here and it won't fall out everywhere, which is really nice. Thanks Vinnie Baker. Well guys, that's a cheeky little one hour project. 
Um, I hope you liked what you saw, and I hope that these updates are reassuring for where the channel is going. It's honestly, it'll be by coming up to Christmas time, I'll be able to release a lot more content. It'll be really exciting. I'll finally have the space that we need, and the weather won't be a factor in the weather whether I release a video every week. I'll actually be able to bring out regular content, which is going to be really, really exciting. Also, I can't finish this video without saying a massive thank you to our sponsor, Simba. They have uh, given me this mattress to test out. I don't know if you saw in the previous video uh, me talking about it, but it's been really, really comfortable, really, really nice to sleep on. We even had friends come over and stay, and we've let them stay on it, stay on, sleep on the Simba mattress, and they've given it really good, like, sort of reviews. They really like it as well. Um, so, really, really comfy way to improve your sleep. Um, so, if you want to get yourself a Simba mattress, either for your camp van or at home, uh, use the link in the description below and you can get yourself £75 off your mattress. That's everything from me on this end. I hope the next exciting video, the next update that I give you will be me walking into YouTube headquarters. But until then, I'll catch all you DIY nomads next time. <laughs>